This morning in Going Places brought to you by Aruba Tourism. This time of year, many of us start to dream about taking a vacation to paradise. Joining us today is travel expert and TV host Kinga Phillips, who is teaming with Aruba to share timely information about one of the most beautiful islands in the world. Good morning, Kinga. Good morning. Hey, let's start off with this. I mean, I kind of know the answer, but why should anybody consider a trip to Aruba? Well, as someone who travels for a living, I think that the act of even planning a vacation is so exciting, so fun, so joyful, gives everyone something to look forward to. And Aruba is the perfect example of that. It is not just a destination, it's an idea. They call it one happy island. And I can tell you from personal experience that it is exactly that, which is why every year Aruba attracts honeymooners, families, couples, friends, adventure seekers, and people for looking for something a little bit different than what the other Caribbean islands have to offer. And it's also a pretty unique island destination as well and you usually luck out with the weather too that is so true aruba actually amazing and it is the most revisited destination in the entire Caribbean with more than half of all visitors returning year after year. Gorgeous sunshine, consistently about 82 degrees, adventure and serenity all wrapped into this beautiful island package, low humidity, east trade winds. And if you have watched any of my shows, you know that I love adventures, be it land, be it sea. And Aruba's geography is so conducive to all the adventures, the land and the sea. Here you see me riding horseback in Aracock National Park, which is one of my favorite places right there, desert on the coast. Stunning place. You can also do Jeep safaris. You can hike. You can bike 20 square miles of flora and fauna. And if you are a diver like me, the world is your oyster. Some world class diving there. One of my favorite shipwrecks, the World War II Antilla is there. I got to dive that. I loved it. If you want to snorkel, windsurf, kite surf, sail, it is truly paradise. I have done the Jeep tour there and it is a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun. So what are some oh, of the other? Yeah, it really is. What are some of the other options that people can can have? Um, because a lot of people may just want to go and just kind of chill and unwind while they're there. And they want to relax. You're right. So after you're done adventuring, Aruba has an assortment of wellness opportunities as well, from meditation and aerial yoga to spa treatments with their world famous aloe. I brought tons of that back with me because I absolutely loved it. It's a great place to unwind. And the other thing that's great about Aruba, when I travel, I love variety. And Aruba has everything from five star resorts, boutique hotels, villas, condos, beachside cottages, even bed and breakfast. I'm also a foodie, so I love the fact that it's such a melting pot. There are over 90 different nationalities, so the cuisine is spectacular. Basically, you're going to come back with memories. And for more information, you can visit Aruba.com. Plan your trip to paradise. Sounds good to me. Sign us up. We're ready to go. Thanks, Kinga, for being on with us. Me this too. segment was brought to you by Aruba Tourism. For a link to learn more, you can travel over to Roadshow.com.